Hi, Shah. So good to meet you. I know you're interested in the Department of International Relations, and I was able to bring some of my colleagues to speak with you as well. So come on in and have a seat. Thank you. I'm Wes. I'm a professor in the Department of International Relations. It's really great to meet all of you. Could you tell me more about the program and the kind of skills and knowledge I will learn? The Master of International Relations resides at the interplay of culture, politics, and history. You'll develop an understanding of such concerns as the balance of power, shifts in globalization, social trends and changes in international norms, all in the context of a concern for critical thinking and policy relevance. We encourage in our students curiosity and debate about the major challenges facing the world today. In your studies, you'll find that you're able to tailor your courses to a wide range of topics across the range of international relations of the Asia Pacific, be it foreign policy analysis, international political economy, or peace and conflict studies. We provide our students with the foundations for successful careers across fields of business, law, and politics. We do this by providing a foundation for thinking critically, applying theory to practice, and communicating effectively across a range of contexts. That's really exciting. Can you tell me a little bit more about major power politics and the kind of research you are doing in that? That's a perfect question for my colleague, Ben Zala. So it's such an interesting time to be thinking about great power politics again. Everyone's trying to understand the consequences of the rise of new powers. So that's China, thinking about India, the continued role of the US, thinking where Russia fits into this. And all of the actors that are trying to understand the consequences go from business to government to media to campaign groups. Pretty much everyone is involved in this. So one of the ways that we can approach this is to think about great power politics in history and think about how much that's evolved over time. And so if you're thinking about the kind of issues that relate to states with special rights and special responsibilities in world politics and that play an outsized role in world politics, and we look at this from a historical point and also a theoretical point of view in a number of courses that I teach on. So because the great powers are so powerful, they're sort of in every aspect of international life. And that means if you can understand how they relate to each other, you can build skills for a varied set of careers. And that can be anything from being a diplomat to being an investment analyst to being a human rights campaigner. Studying at the Australian National University means that you're here in Canberra, in the capital city. So you've got all the heart of Australian government here, but you've got the epicentre of Australia's foreign relations, and that brings with it lots of opportunities. So you can familiarise yourself with organisations and network, build your professional networks particularly, and that will give you all sorts of opportunities that you can build throughout the degree. Wes mentioned specialisations, and I'm really happy to learn that the program actually has a focus on the Asia-Pacific region, which is so important to Australia. Can I learn more about that? Oh, that's a great point. Actually, Maria, you really work in this area, right? As an academic, I've been interested in understanding peace and security by starting from the lives of people in the front lines of crises. And I bring this interest by teaching global governance in the Asia Pacific. It's important to look at this topic and at the Asia Pacific especially because there is now compelling evidence that tells us major global security challenges from climate change to protracted conflicts. These are all occurring with adverse consequences in the Asia Pacific. Globally, the Asia Pacific region has the highest concentration of people routinely displaced by crises and these people require urgent solutions. And the best thing is that academics and alumni from our school are contributing to these global solutions and bringing their research expertise, whether it's at the UN, international and regional organizations such as ASEAN, or in a range of Australian and regional NGOs. And in response to this global need, our program offers an international relations degree that combines the study of global politics with a strong engagement in the Asia Pacific region. And this has attracted a student cohort from all over the region, which makes for an excellent peer learning experience for you. We are seeing a big shift in the demand for people with the skill sets to understand and help generate solutions for these global challenges. And if you join our program, you'll be educated by academics who have the cultural competencies and networks in the Asia Pacific, who will provide you with the right foundation and exposure to join other people in thinking about these solutions. Ja, 
I hope this has given you a great understanding of the Masters of International Relations program at the Australian National University. Thank you so much for your time. This has been extremely helpful. Now I really look forward to seeing you all in the classrooms.